Okay guys, so I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to point out things you may have missed from the Destiny 2 reveal stream with some seriously interesting things to talk about but before we go any further to be in with a chance of winning my weekly giveaway simply drop a like and comment on this video winner will have the choice of either a Resurrectionist Emblem or Destiny 2 Beta Code details are on screen now Okay, so I have literally dissected the whole stream frame by frame to see if there are any hidden gems and there are plenty. Some you may have spotted, some not. So let's go. Okay, so I want to start off with more of an easter egg. Uh, so before the actual stream started, we saw a cinematic of Savala fighting off Fallen, then uniting with the people who are building what is known as the Tower. What I liked best about this cinematic was the little girl standing next to him who was amazed by a spaceship flying up towards the Traveller. Now most people realised straight away that this little girl was indeed Amanda Holiday, but not many people realise that the ship she's surprised by is the very first ship we get as Guardians, which I thought was a little cool addition. It's been here a while. Hasn't made a jump in centuries. We're lucky the Fallen haven't completely picked it clean. Will it fly? I can make it work. Okay, so next up we have this scene of three guardians within the tower. The interesting thing here though is the katana the hunter seems to be holding. Now we know swords are making a return within Destiny 2, but katanas are much lighter than the average sword we see within Destiny. Katanas can be controlled using one arm. Now while this hunter is chopping things up, many people are taken away from the fact of something else, and that fact is this hunter is actually wearing iron banner armour. Now it is really hard to spot at first, but with a little bit of slow motion and lighting, I can make it much easier for you guys to see and notice. Now notice the shoulder and chest plates, both definitely bearing the Iron Banner gear look and icon. So this means obviously we will be getting Iron Banner events within Destiny 2. I'm just curious to see how this ties in to everything we have learned about Destiny 2 so far. Okay, so next up we have something strange. When I first saw this, I thought it was a hunter in that Blade Dancer aka Arc Strider subclass using invisibility. Although we don't even know if that's making a return with the new Arc Strider subclass. But on closer inspection, I believe it's a fallen enemy of some kind. Notice it has glowing eyes and a cape, but more interestingly, it's basically climbing walls here. So what is this? I can't tell you guys at this precise moment in time. I wish I could though. Okay, so next up, we see a Guardian's inventory being checked out. Notice the user hovering down and over the weapons. What's really interesting here, though, is the third perk on each of these weapons. It states, no weapon mod is applied. Now, I've already made a video on this and given you guys my opinion of what I think this is. And that video can be found linked within the video description. Now, another interesting thing about this snippet is the glimmer and the marks, which I believe they are. Notice the glimmer number is 17177. Now, 17177 backwards, if arranged as a date, would be 71717, indicating the date if you are from the USA, July 7th, 2017. Interestingly, this date is a Monday and I think it's the date we may see the beta. Now also notice the marks. Look at that number count, 98. Now backwards, that would be 89. Date-wise indicating September 8th. This date ring about to you? It's the date of the release of Destiny 2. Coincidence? I think not. Now another thing I covered in the same video where I spoke about weapon mods was this subject. On screen now we can see this serious pulse rifle. What's interesting here though is the logo on the back of this weapon. To me, as I said in the other video, I believe this is a feature of clans within the game. As we all know, you can customise an emblem for your clan. Maybe just maybe you can rock that emblem on your weapons and even maybe armour. Imagine that. Now I'll go into way more detail in my other video which can be found linked within that video description. Now next up we see a little footage of Guardians travelling through space. Obviously approaching a planet. What's interesting here though is the logos on these spaceships. On the far left we see what looks to be the Hunter logo on the back of that ship. The center ship also has an icon on it and so does the one on your right. Does this indicate we can customize ships with our clan logos or even set logos within the game? Who knows? Okay, so I made a video the other day confirming the Voidwalker subclass for the Warlock is making a return. Seen by the footage on screen now, it shows a Warlock shooting a Nova Bomb from its grasps. Notice how it seems to be travelling slower, 
and on impact with the enemy, it kind of spawns Axiom Bolts. Now there is no doubt in my mind that the Void Walker subclass will return with set changes, just like what we have seen from the Titan Striker and the Hunter's Golden Gun. This what we see here is just one change I believe coming with the Void Walker subclass. Now the point of me showing you this is not the fact that the Void Walker is confirmed to be returning as I've already covered that in a video, it's the fact it's returning with new features and abilities is the point I'm trying to make due to this next snippet. Here in this cinematic we see our Guardian leaders try and fight back against the Cabal's attack on our city. But did anyone notice this? When Cade pops his golden gun which was amazing to see, a little rubble is about to crush him until Ikora saves him. Now it's the way she saves him which is really interesting. She grabs him and blinks with him. Now I ain't sure about you guys but I've never seen this done before. Is it indicating another new feature coming with a Void Walker subclass? Being able to blink with your teammates allowing you to help them escape certain situations? Who knows? What I am planning to do though is cover Blink in a standalone video as I do think it will be returning but with a few changes. Now throughout the stream we saw many weapons which I believe were exotic, which again I have covered it in another video. I just don't want you guys to think I may have missed them out in the things you may have missed video. Now that video on the exotics can be found linked in the video description too if you do want to check it out, some seriously interesting finds. Now the one exotic which seriously stood out to me was this one on screen now. I'm calling it straight up the portal gun as that's what it looks to be. It looks like when slowed down to be firing some kind of energy burst. But it is early days yet and I don't really want to jump to conclusions about a new weapon type. But that's what it looks like to me. Now next up we see what looks to be a new type of Hive Knight. Being black or dark dark brown in colour. But interestingly it seems to have wings. I mean like what the hell. Flying Mothman Knights. Seriously? Now being at the Destiny 2 reveal event, we got to use three set subclasses. The Titan's new Striker, the Warlock's new Dawnblade and the Hunter's new Gunslinger. Each of these subclasses has its set nodes. And then on the right, there's a set of 2x4, which you can pick between using. The top set has a great new perk called Explosive Knife. Throw a knife at enemies that explode shortly after impact when melee energy is full. Now although this was available for us to use, I don't think I saw anyone use it to effect, so on screen now we can see this thing in action. Now last but not least, I want to end the video on factions. Now it's pretty obvious that new factions are coming with Destiny 2, but are we going to see any old factions return? I can confirm that we are. Within the trailer I spotted both new monarchy weapons and armour and dead orbit. What I didn't see anything of though is my current favourite faction, Future Walkouts. Hopefully it makes a return too. But yes guys, I can guarantee you at least New Monarchy and Dead Orbit will see a return into Destiny 2, among, I guess, many new factions. But guys, that is it for another video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is much appreciated on my behalf. If you spotted anything I missed, please let me know down below in that comments section. Also, if you're new around here and enjoy what you see, do subscribe for Daily Destiny. If you never want to miss a video, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I upload. But again, thanks for stopping by and I will see you on that next one. Always in the